Hello, good people. A few weeks ago on the Ice Cream Social Show, I mentioned that I might put together a video like this. There's all of these YouTube channels that I am subscribed to that are putting out so much information and have put out just all sorts of things that I haven't had time to look at or check out and share. And so I thought that I would put together a video showing you some of these channels and if you're so inclined if you want to listen to these people if you have the time or if you can handle listening to some of these people I know it's hard for some people to to put up with them but if you have the desire to I thought maybe I'd share and perhaps if you find something you could get the word out you could come back and leave a comment or something and let us know what you've seen I'm working on some other videos but I thought I'd put this out real quick so first one that we'll look at today is the human vaccines project which I don't know sounds creepy but they have all of these videos that they've been doing since this whole thing has started they say they're a public-private initiative that in 2019 was talking about how they wanted to move toward immunology 2.0 they really want to find out about what makes our immune systems tick I wonder if they've had the opportunity to do that lately so there's them another channel that I've seen quite a few talks on and some interesting ones like with George Church who wants the, to redesign all the life on the planet with synthetic biology and they're working toward this is this DLD conference that DLD is digital life design and there's all sorts of stuff on there and they seem to be putting out a lot so definitely might want to check that out another one is uh, the the first net stuff some people may have seen I put out a video a while back that's the 5g rollout on the backs of first responders it's first net is the the 5g rollout of AT&T is the it's their backbone of this which AT&T there's all kinds of interesting government connections all that stuff anyway but FirstNet, they have this First Responder Network Authority channel where they're putting out all kinds of talks about how the rollout is going. And I know that maybe that's just for people here in the U.S., but when I looked at FirstNet years back here, they were sharing best practices with other countries. So there might be things that translate to wherever you are in the world if you're not here in the U.S. Another channel that has put out things in the past they they've been quiet for a little while but it's 2021 now so I imagine they'll have a 2021 event coming up but it's a CRISPR con and I know that the last video that they have on their channel features someone from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and DARPA and they're I mean they're all things CRISPR so it's might be interesting for some people if you want to check it out and then the final one that I'll point to today is the the Bureau of Economic Geology and they're out of a university in Texas I think it's at Austin but I looked at them years back here and I, I actually talked about what I had found on a show that I did with my friend Jules that has been deleted from YouTube from on her channel and that they I, I found them interesting because of the what the the guy in charge what he said that they were doing with smart dust I'm Scott Tinker. I'm the director of the Bureau of Economic Geology at the University of Texas at Austin, and also the director of the Advanced Energy Consortium, as we lovingly call it, the AEC. Well, the AEC was created when I attended a conference well over a decade ago up in Colorado, and somebody in the meeting mentioned smart dust. And I thought, smart dust, that's pretty cool. What's that? And, and it was a space-based thinking that little teeny particles could have some kind of electronic intelligence. I thought, man, let's just grab some of those and shove them in an oil and gas field and get smart. So the AEC was formed to try to get small, smart things into rocks. So they're this big consortium, this advanced energy consortium, which is this group of all the big oil and gas companies that they get their research done at the university and then they share it. Yay! But anyway, 
might be interested in seeing what they're talking about. I know they had some very interesting things with earthquakes, but imagine that fracking and earthquakes. But uh, in addition to them, you may want to look at Halliburton's channel. I know they have all kinds of things talking about how high tech their drilling is these days. Imagine that. I wonder if the smart dust helped develop these things. And uh, there's also Drilling Contractor Magazine that's sort of along the same lines. So I'll throw those links in there too. If this is interesting to you or helpful, let me know. I can do more of these. There's, like I said, 800 some channels that are not, uh, they're just, they're, they're similar to this. There's all, all these different things that there's just too much to, to keep track of with one person. So help. But, um, this video, uh, it, there'll be more, like I said, if you find this helpful and I'm probably going to put together a video on books that I, I would think people might want to read because there's a lot of interesting stuff out there that maybe you don't know about. I don't know. But let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more of these, like I said, there's going to be more of my videos that I'm working on. Sorry, it takes me so long sometimes. I hope that you're all doing well in this crazy, crazy world that we find ourselves in. But the links are going to be in the description box below and do take care.